The conflict between humans and wildlife is common in areas bordering conservation areas such as Murchison Falls National Park, Lake Mburo, Queen Elizabeth National Park, among others. Although there are provisions to safeguard and maintain coexistence of wildlife and man, there still exists a gap. Esther Abu, a farmer living near Murchison Falls National Park, decries the consequences inflicted on her crops when wildlife invades her gardens. That these gardens which are close to the dry and the garden, they don't reach here now. They move far to other places. They don't. At the northern sector of Murchison Falls National Park, rampant attacks have forced communities to innovate by growing chili. The local people believe chili keeps wildlife at bay. Olanya Babu Bakit, a warden at Murchison Falls, explains the chili myth. Uh, if uh, they participate in this project, it can help them make some income. And at the same time, uh, it will also help them to control the elephants. More especially when using the chili bricks and the chili grease. With the chili bricks, it is a mixture of cow dung and the chili powder. The method scares the straying animals away besides being a source of livelihood for generating income. A crafty resident within the area, commonly known as Professor, who has lived near the Murchison Falls Conservation Area, elaborates how chili bricks and grease mitigate wildlife invasion. When it is mixed, you put on a, a, a rock like that and then like rub it. it. You rub it on the, the string, eh. as he's doing. When the elephant comes and touches the body, it itches or irritates. Then they move away. It keeps them off. I have the cars. The locally made bang gun is the most interesting of all the tactics. It is made out of a steel bar, a steel cup, and matchsticks. When covered and hit on top, it explodes like a gunshot, producing a heavy pop sound that scares away the straying wildlife. If caught unawares, one could think it is a gun sound. These strategies, including digging deep trenches to separate the gardens from the conservation areas, are community innovations complemented by the efforts of Uganda Wildlife Authority. Dealing with problem animals that stray from the parks has led to cost-friendly innovations. Quite often, the wildlife raids into the community land has led to disastrous consequences such as destruction of crops and human injuries. Dennis Igor for UBC News at Murchison Falls National Park.